So as we did last time with true and false, please shout out answers. Uh, and we will then talk about which ones are correct and so forth. So true or false, the Zhou dynasty justified its overthrow of the Shang dynasty by appealing to the mandate of heaven. Well, that's true. That's true. It is a true statement. I mean, that's how they justify it. Yeah, okay. But appealing would be... Okay. Because you, you don't, don't overthink. Okay. If that makes sense. And this is a warning. Sometimes people overthink the questions and I'm not trying to trick you. Okay. Sometimes true and false are meant to be a little bit tricky, but in this case, this is a true okay. statement. Sun Tzu sought to reunify China by return to virtue, ritual, and music. False. False. Who tried to do that? Confucius tried to do that. Right? Confucius tried to do that. How did Sun Tzu want to unify? Military. Right? Remember, he wrote The Art of War. He's the guy that said anyone can become a warrior if you train them. Remember, he trained the concubines how to be warriors? And that's because China wanted to form these gigantic mass armies in order to unify the country. Right? So Sun Tzu emphasized that you could train anyone to be a warrior with the idea of founding huge armies that could be used to unify the country. Confucius emphasized the importance of human relationships. True. Shi Huang Di reunited China using military force after it had fallen apart. True. That is a true statement. I want to make sure I'm recording. Uh, Shi Huang Di's government embraced legalism while Lu Bang and the Han Dynasty combined legalism and Confucianism. True. No, it was a true statement. That is correct. Ban Zhao was a female historian who rejected Confucianism because it was so patriarchal. False. The first part is true. She was a female historian, yeah. but she embraced, she embraced Confucianism. Right? She embraced Confucianism. Wu overthrew Emperor Zhang Nu in order to become the only female emperor in Chinese history. It's false because there is no Emperor Zhang Nu. Zhang Nu is not actually on the exam. I apologize. I had it on the study guide. We don't talk about Zhang Nu. But Wu was the only, the first and only female emperor in all of Chinese history. She's the first and only female emperor in all of Chinese history. Tang was the Chinese dynasty most open to foreign influence. True. That's true. Taizong was a Tang Chinese emperor who believed that culture was the foundation of rule. Ooh, want to hit section 5 hard? Yeah. That is true. That is true. He was the Chinese emperor who supported the Buddhist monk to translate books from Indian languages on Buddhism into Chinese. And he thought that culture could be used to unify the people of China. Zhuangzong was a Tang Chinese Confucian who believed that Buddhism threatened Chinese society. That is false. That is false. He's the guy that worked with Taizong, who was a Buddhist. Right? So Taizong taught, uh, I'm sorry, Taizong supported Zhuangzong in his um, efforts to translate these things. And don't worry, section five, I did record in the other class, I will upload that, but if you're just like, I have no idea who these people are, please make sure to listen to the section five review. I'm recording this, please listen to the true and false again too. Right, you wanna make sure you get these down. Because in time. Li Bai was a Chinese poet who drank with the moon. That's true. That is true, yeah. Oh, oh don't forget Li Bai. If you remember anything in this class other than the bit about the sacred chickens, always listen to the sacred chickens, remember Li Bai, the man who drank with the moon. An Lushan was a Chinese general who led a rebellion against the emperor. It's, true. it's mostly true. The word Chinese is false. Remember, he was part Turk. He was part Turk. And I'm not trying to be picky. Remember, after the An Lushan rebellion, that's when you had people turn away in China from the foreign. Tang had been the, been the most open dynasty. They were so open, they allowed foreigners to have government positions. But then this guy rebels, and then after that they say, oh, we don't want foreign influence anymore. Yes, Mackenzie. So this is false. If you take out the Chinese part, it's true. Right, take out the Chinese part, it's true. So if, if we were to say An Lushan was a general who led a rebellion against the emperor, that is a true statement. Shilla was a Japanese kingdom that used Buddhism to legitimize the government. False. It was a Korean kingdom. Right, Shilla was a Korean kingdom. Polis, the name of a Greek doctor who taught that good doctors should be both virtuous and skilled. That is false. Who was the doctor who did this? We talked about him. Hippocrates. Yeah. Homer was a famous Greek poet of the heroic age. 
true. True, yeah, more confident. See, notice how you know this stuff a little bit easier because we just reviewed it. So make sure you listen to the four and five reviews that I'll send out later today. Odysseus was a Greek leader known for his virtue and humility. False. That is false. Yeah, remember he was the guy that won, won by any means necessary. He was really arrogant. Uh, Sparta was a Greek city-state that emphasized the military to maintain its dominance over the Helots. True. True. Athens is a Greek city-state known for its democracy. True. The phalanx was a Greek military formation. True. Marathon was a naval battle in which the Greeks defeated the Persians. False. False. What was the naval battle? Salamis. Yes, yeah, Salamis. Marathon was a Greek victory, but it was a land victory. The Persians under Xerxes defeated the Greeks under Leonidas at the Battle of Thermopylae. True. That is a true statement. Right? That is a true statement. Themistocles convinced the Athenians to build a navy after the first Persian invasion, and enabling them to win the decisive Battle of Salamis. True. That is true. Right? The ambitions of Pericles to make Athens into the dominant power in Greece helped lead to the Peloponnesian Wars, in which Athens conquered Sparta. False. False. It's the other way around. Sparta defeated Athens. Right? Sparta defeated Athens. Again, this may seem kind of picky, but you want to be able to make sure that you understand the differences between these different terms. Socrates was a Greek philosopher who taught that we should always obey the government because it maintains social order. False. False. He taught we should question, right? We should challenge the government, challenge authority. Plato focused on politics and the question of justice while his student Aristotle used reason to understand everything. True. True. Hippocrates was a Greek doctor who performed surgery on Alexander the Great, saving his life and allowing Alexander to form a long-lasting unified Greek empire. False. False on two accounts. He was a doctor. He was a doctor, but he did not perform surgery on Alexander the Great. And Alexander the Great died, right? He conquered a huge empire, but he died, leading that empire to be divided. In Rome, the patricians were the aristocrats and the plebeians were the commoners. True. True. Since the held the office of dictator and used it to serve Rome rather than his own interests. That is a true statement. Right? That is a true statement. Though Hannibal, the general of Carthage, was a military genius, he was ultimately defeated by the Roman general Scipio Africanus. True. That is a true statement. Tiberius Gracchus tried to help poor Romans but was assassinated. That is true. Yep, that is true. Gaius Marius gave his soldiers weapons and land, leading them to become more loyal to him than the Republic. True. That is a true statement. Julius Caesar was a successful general. He used his army to seize power in Rome but was assassinated before he became the first emperor. True. True. Augustus, the first Roman emperor, was able to expand his empire thanks to the help of his loyal general, Spartacus. False. Which part is false? Spartacus. The Spartacus part is false. Spartacus, member led a slave rebellion against Rome. Augustus was the first Roman empire. He did expand his empire, but Spartacus did not help him. Spartacus was a slave who led a rebellion. 